Hello, my name is Paul and I blog about comics at famousfanboy.blogspot.com. Welcome to the top 10 Superman stories of all time. There are a lot of lists like this on the internet, but hopefully whether you're new to the world of Superman or whether you're a hardened, embittered, cynical fanboy like myself, there are some surprises waiting for you on this list. Let's get straight to it with number 10. Filling the 10th spot on this list is The Challenge of Terror Man from 1972 by Carrie Bates, Kurt Swan and Murphy Anderson. This fantastically daft Bronze Age tale features Superman suffering from the annual birthday depression that apparently all Kryptonians must endure. As a result, our melancholic Man of Steel is woefully unprepared for an attack from Terror Man. A villainous cowboy who wields expanding atomic bullets and killer cigar smoke. Superman is having a super freak out and his powers are behaving unpredictably. In one brilliant part of this story, his x-ray vision is reversed and he is forced to stare in horror at his own brain. I don't know about you, but Superman fighting a super cowboy with killer cigars while he flies upside down and stares at his own brain sounds pretty entertaining to me. At number 9 we have Superman Smashes the Clan from 2019 to 2020 by Jean Luen Yang and Gurahiru. Adapted from the 1946 Superman radio serial The Clan of the Fiery Cross this story examines Superman as an immigrant, probably more successfully than any other story in the character's history. The story unfolds through the eyes of Roberta and Tommy Lee, young Chinese-American siblings in 1946, whose family is targeted by a group of hooded racist fanatics. Alongside this, we follow Superman's struggle to come to terms with the fact that he's not from this planet. Writer Jean Luen Yang draws on his experience as an Asian American son of immigrants to give this story an authentic voice. Appropriately, as Superman faces the truth about his alien origins, he's never felt more human and easier to identify with. For example, Yang's description of the effects of kryptonite on the Man of Steel is the most evocative I've ever read. He even describes the smell of kryptonite, which I've never seen done before. Gurahiru's clean, clear and fun artwork helps make this an accessible tale for all ages. Also, Superman punches a load of racists, which is always brilliant. At number 8 we find Unconventional Warfare, That Healing Touch and Ruin Revealed from 2004 to 2005 by Greg Rucker and various artists. During Greg Rucker's run on the adventures of Superman, our hero is forced to ask himself some pretty hard questions. Lois Lane is shot while reporting in the Middle East and the consequences of rescuing her forces Superman to confront the influence his very presence has on human history. Clark and Lois wonder whether to start a family or not and Mr. Mixia's Pitlick gives them a glimpse of what it might be like to raise a super child. Wonder Woman is forced to kill a foe to save Superman and the two heroes debate whether it's ever acceptable to take a life. Throughout it all, Superman is being targeted by a ruthless enemy named Ruin who knows all of his secrets. The brilliant thing about this run is that Rucker deals with these moral quandaries intelligently without allowing Superman to get bogged down by uncharacteristic moping or angst. Superman ultimately provides the answer to these dilemmas the only way he can, by being Superman. At number 7 we have Superman and the Men of Steel, Bulletproof and At the End of Days from 2011 to 2013. It's by Grant Morrison, Brax Morales and various artists. The mind-bending cosmic concepts of writer Grant Morrison, done in the style of Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster's fast-paced 
two-fisted 1930s Superman strips. This run is split into several different stories of the Man of Steel, including his origin, his early years in Metropolis as a champion of the oppressed, his first encounter with Brainiac, his rescue of Crypto the Superdog from the Phantom Zone, and his battles against the anti-Superman army with the Legion of Superheroes. There's even a detour into a parallel universe where an African-American Superman is president. But together, all these tales depict an attack on Superman from the fifth dimension, fought at different points in his life from Superman's perspective, but all at the same time from the perspective of his foe. At the heart of all the multi-dimensional, meta-conceptual brain melting is a Superman for whom nothing is impossible, and a Superman with no time for bullies. In at number six, Superman Under the Red Sun from 1963 by Edmund Hamilton and Al Plastino. This is a surprisingly grim Silver Age tale of Superman trapped in a post-apocalyptic future. Robbed of his powers, Superman takes a long walk across a dried up ocean in order to reach his fortress and find a way home. He encounters a variety of bizarre, mutated creatures along the way and is accompanied by a robotic duplicate of his boss, Perry White. The final panel of the story features a brooding Superman looking out over Metropolis and hoping that he will never again find himself the last man on Earth. Considering most stories from this period ended with Lois Lane getting annoyed while Superman winked at the reader, this rather dark ending really stands out. Number 5. Reign of the Supermen from 1993 by Dan Jurgens, Louise Simonson, Roger Stern, Carl Kiesel and various artists. While Superman's death is the most famous super story of the 90s, it doesn't amount to much more than a big cross-country punch-up. Superman's resurrection was far more interesting. Following the death of the Man of Steel, four super pretenders turn up. A cyborg, a grim vigilante, a super teen, and a man in super armour. How 90s is that? Neither the armoured guy nor the teen were really claiming to be the real deal, but the other two were strong contenders. At the time, I was convinced that I had figured out which of them was the real Superman, and without giving any spoilers, boy did I back the wrong horse. This was the first time I'd ever read a comic and thought, did they just do that? The story gave us two strong characters that have become important parts of the DC Universe, Steel and Superboy. And this almost makes up for the fact that this story was the first appearance of Superman's short-lived 90s mullet. Number 4, Exile, 1989, by Roger Stern, Jerry Ordway, George Perez and various artists. In a previous story, Superman had been forced to execute General Zod and his gang of super criminals. Superman begins this story traumatized by these actions and exiles himself into space, believing himself to be a danger to planet Earth. During his journey through space, he avenges the deaths of an entire Earth town teleports inside a gigantic space blob, learns the bloody history of Krypton, and fights and wins in an alien gladiatorial arena, years before a certain green, gamma-irradiated Marvel monster did the same thing. Exile is the story of a lost man of steel gradually remembering who he is. That realization comes with nine defiant words. My name, Tyrant, is Superman, and I don't kill. Number 3, Superman and the Legion of Superheroes from 2007 by Jeff Johns, Gary Frank, and John Sybil. 
Superman goes back to the 31st century to reunite his old teenage gang, the Legion of Superheroes. While there, he battles superpowered alien hating human supremacists. This is a very accessible story, despite the fact that it draws on decades of continuity to return the Legion of Superheroes to their roots. The getting the band back together plot and the array of colourful characters would make this a perfect basis for a Superman movie. This story is absolutely littered with moments so cool that I literally punch the air with joy while reading them. The best thing about the tale is that Superman is without his powers for most of it, but you hardly notice because he's such a badass. Towards the end, a powerless Superman pushes the main baddie, Earthman, through the window of a space station in order to battle him while plummeting through the Earth's atmosphere. Balls of Steel Number 2. The Man of Steel 1986 by John Byrne and Dick Giordano. This is the story that got me at age 11 into Superman. I'd read Superman comics before, but I'd always viewed Superman as a bit stuffy and po-faced, and I'd always preferred Batman. That was until I read Man of Steel. John Byrne took an approach to the character that had never been done before. He made Superman a bit less powerful and a bit more vulnerable. He could no longer move planets, but he could be hurt. Byrne emphasised his vulnerability by having Superman's cape get visibly torn whenever he found himself in a particularly challenging battle. This effective little artistic trend continues to this day. But Byrne did much more than make Superman physically weaker. He strengthened Superman's ties to planet Earth. As a man who was born in England and yet spent most of his life in the United States, Byrne felt that Superman would be proud of his Kryptonian roots but wouldn't constantly pine for his lost world in the way the Silver Age and Bronze Age version of the characters had. Byrne also figured that as Superman never wore a mask, then people would have no reason to suspect that he had a secret identity. This gave Clark Kent the freedom to shed his meek, mild-mannered image and live his life without holding back his courage and charm. To Byrne, Superman was the disguise and Clark Kent was very much the real person. This made for a character that was very easy for the 11-year-old me to relate to. After all, this Superman was much more human than Batman, the aloof billionaire. Byrne's very human Superman was my gateway into the wider world of the Superman myth, and it's for this reason that I've placed this story at number two. But what do we find at number one? At number one, the top spot, All-Star Superman. 2005 to 2008 by Grant Morrison, Frank Quitely and Jamie Grant. This is it, the ultimate Superman story. It's written by Grant Morrison, one of the best writers in comics today, and it features everything that's good about Superman, and I mean everything. Despite this, it's not just a greatest hits package. Every aspect of the Superman myth is taken to its next logical extreme. This is Superman Plus. The plot revolves around a dying Superman's attempts to perform 12 Herculean super feats before he passes away. It serves as an effective and poignant capstone to the legend of Superman. But it's not all doom and gloom. All-Star Superman is fun. It features, among other things, Superman and Lois Lane kissing on the moon, a version of Jimmy Olsen inspired by British Channel 4 sitcom Nathan Barley, an arm wrestling contest with Samson and Atlas, a bizarro duplicate of Bizarro himself, an infant universe created by Superman that in turn creates him, and Lex Luthor dressing an ape called Leopold in a Superman suit. 
the top 10 Superman stories of all time, at least according to one bloke. If you've enjoyed this video, then please click subscribe, share the video with your friends, and do let me know in the comments, what are your top 10 favorite Superman stories of all time?